Hey, thanks gang. Starting this Wednesday, more than 200 artists and two dozen restaurants will be filling downtown Wyandotte for the 55th annual Wyandotte Street Art Fair. It's the second largest in the state. Pat Slack is here from Rivers Edge Gallery in Wyandotte and artist Corey Skillion, who has a familiar last name, is joining us as well. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, morning Jason. Good to see you again, Pat. Yes, you too. You too. Once a year, it's great. Well, once a year. <laughs> Let's make it twice a year, okay. three times a year. Uh, tell us all about the art fair. Well, the art fair starts this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday, mm -hmm. and it starts at uh, 10 in the morning and goes until 9 at night and is like you you said filled with artists food vendors entertainment um, lots of different individual items uh, craft show uh, on the weekend there's an indie craft show mart mm -hmm. on chestnut so there's lots of other events within an event and this is on Biddle this is on Biddle, plus a little further down this year, too. Uh, where are we going to find Corey's work? She has we're the gonna, Wish Rocket. We're going to look for River's Edge Gallery, and we are going to find the Wish Rocket. Tell us all about it, Corey. Well, this was the original Wish, wish Rocket. You see it's about 20 inches tall. Mm -hmm. The one that's going to be at the show this weekend is about 4 feet tall. And the whole point behind the Wish Rocket is that, um, as you know, ceramics gets fired in the kiln. Mm -hmm. So we put out our ceramic rocket. You put wishes into the rocket, and we take it back and we fire your wishes. And so the fires burn, the wishes burn, and they kind of go out into the universe. Wow, what a clever idea. So you, you run creative people and things just pop. And I, 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 amazing, right? Yeah, amazing. When now, where do you find it? a kiln big enough to fire a four-foot rocket? <laughs> <laughs> I also serve as board chair at Puabic, and so they've been very supportive of me. I've done a lot of work with them over the years. And talk about supporting the arts community because you get down to Wyandotte four, five, six times a year. It, I mean, you're, yeah. you're from Grand Junction or Grand... We're from Gross Point. We live in Gross Point. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a family. It's like any community. When you get out, you start to... Those become your friends and the people that you enjoy spending your time with. So I get down to Wyandotte, but I also hit a lot of the openings here in Detroit. There's such a wonderful art scene here in Detroit and great galleries that are open. We went to a great opening this weekend that was in Hamtramck but the mm -hmm. but you know if, if you have a love if you really like to have your mind challenged and you like, like to talk to interesting people about interesting things hit the art openings hit them in Wyandotte hit them in Detroit there's just a lot of really cool stuff going on in town and yes, show us some of the art well first you know every year besides doing a special installation which Corey's is this year for the art fair Wyandotte is a really arts community we have one of the longest running art shows plus we have a downriver council for the arts and we always have art in this piece um, is a classic so we say we say this year is a classic so this artist did did that piece a rendition of art as a classic he also this is one of his paintings of a classic paintings he always does a little right twist yep. he always does a little twist and sometimes they'll have a cell phone this is a mixed media piece um, just showing what by Bar Bar Barbara Malley Carson passing it on is the name of the piece yes and these two these two pieces actually are an artist who had been in the in the art fair for over 50 years and passed away this year okay. but will be represented at the art fair Leo Kushel by his wife and family okay so he's a very well known national international known maritime artist okay and then we have a glass blower and this particular glass blower will be at the art fair and i'm not going to come up with the name right away um, a lot of jewelry artists but we do have we do have three different glass blowers and they're all going to be showing different different uh types of of glass blowing sure and a lot of jewelry you know this just a little turquoise piece and then um we have this is another jewelry that's uh, bronze, brass, and by and these are by um, Maui, Maui Mark. Okay. <laughs> so, and last but certainly not least, back here yes. behind Corey, we, we have a. Uh, we have Slaw's Corey. always represented at our, at our art fair. He's he's a well-known retro Detroit artist. I know you're familiar with him. We have a Slaw in our house. Yep. Okay. So and this is one that he did specifically. And you can see what's on it is all the Detroit iconic symbols. So that's the kind of thing you're going to see at the fair. Come on out to the art fair there in Wyandotte, the street art fair. Thank you, ladies, yeah. for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I love the wish rocket that is so creative. Thank you.